Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve your handwriting on your iPad. Make sure to stick to the end of the video for a bonus tip on how to improve your handwriting on your iPad. Tip number one is obviously to find your pencil grip. You want to have a great pencil grip while you're writing on your iPad. I've seen online that some people does have harsh pencil grip while they're writing on the iPad and you don't want that. To find your pencil grip, is when you should loosen your grip on your Apple Pencil to improve your handwriting on your iPad. You don't want to put pressure on your pencil grip. All you have to do is glide on the screen to make your handwriting very smooth, especially like things like cursive. Just loosen your grip so you don't get hand cramps. Tip number two is your pen setting. Depending on what app you're using, there is going to be different settings for your pen and various different types of pen you can use. For example, I'm going to use GoodNotes for this video because it's most popular that everyone uses and it's one of my favorite. There are three different types of pen. You have the fountain pen, ball pen, and brush pen. I recommend using the ball pen, which is one of my favorite. You can change the consistency and it has the right pressure when you write on the screen. I personally think you should try the different pen settings out because you might not know what pen settings is the best for you. You can adjust the thickness of the pen and for the ball pen, I use around 0.5 millimeters, but you can play around the pen settings however you like. Tip number three is to write small and adjust the size later. I love to write small and adjust the size later. Whenever I write small, I can't write normally. I can write consistent and if I have bigger handwriting, my handwriting will be wobbly and blotchy. When I write small, I have the most control over the brush that my handwriting overall looks are not needed. So I try to write small around the small size and then if I want to make anything bigger, I'll just use the lasso tool to adjust it from there. Tip number four is to focus on consistent height and width of your letters and also focus on consistent spacing in between each letter. Even if each individual letter itself is written in a messy fashion, it's consistent height, width, and spacing. It's going to look neat and be mindful. It takes practice and I don't want always to do it. But whenever I do focus on this, I find that my handwriting is so much neater and easier to read and, and it's easy to do this, which leads me into tip number five is using grid paper. Grid paper has built-in lines and spacing for you, so it makes it so much easier to keep your hand handwriting neat. I love using the grid paper because it makes it easier to write on the iPad. Tip number six is to write whatever angle feels good to you and move it later. This is the best part of digital handwriting. You can write at any angle you want and adjust it later. Your writing doesn't have to be perfect on the first go or the perfect size or angle and that you can adjust all these things afterwards. It really helps you to just focus writing on the word then you can focus on the angles, straight lines and stuff like that later. And even adjusting the angle of the iPad itself and over time you're going to find comfortable grip and writing at the angle that works for you. Tip number seven is to lean into your natural handwriting. Don't sit there and try to get the best handwriting like you see online. That's what I used to do. I tried to write whatever I see online, but that's not the case. You can just lean into your natural handwriting like how you used to write on paper. You can write in your natural handwriting and afterwards, you can adjust the neatness. You don't need to make, match your handwriting to a font. Like handwriting styles doesn't mean you can still have neat notes to your personal handwriting. Tip number eight is to use the zoom tool or if you're using the app doesn't have a built-in zoom tool, just zoom into the page. Whenever I zoom in, I have a lot more control over each of the letters. Also like using the zoom tool because I can focus on what I'm writing while still seeing rest of the page, which makes it easier to make sure that the whole layout is working together. Tip number nine is to add colors and highlights. When in doubt, to distract yourself from the messiness, color coding is a great way for your notes to appear more organized. It's also just great note taking method. In general, by adding different things like colors, highlights, stickers, and other elements to your notes can really go a long way. If I'm having a bad handwriting day, I like to add colors, highlights, or even elements. 
Tip number 10 is to invest in some iPad accessories. Something like a matte screen protector can really help you, especially when you're just starting writing on your iPad. The actual pen has a lot more grip it versus just writing on a glass screen. I also recommend purchasing something like a pencil grip or pencil sleeve that helps you have better control on your pencil. If these tips doesn't work for you, the bottles tip is Smart Script. The Smart Script is recently came out on iPad OS 18. This is the feature within the notes app that literally cleans up your handwriting as you're writing in the app. It will straighten up the lines for you to make your letters more consistent, and the more you use it, the more it learns your handwriting.